I'm in New York. And what's more New York than a brick wall, baby? And you may be wondering, Kathleen, why are you in New York? Is it to see this guy? No, I don't know who that guy is. I'm here for work, but you know I gotta get a little bit of thrifting in while I'm here. So we're heading to Goldwater. Let's go. You know, I've always wanted to say this. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> And I am thrifting with a purpose. I'm attending a slightly fancy event for work while I'm here, and I'm not unhinged enough to not bring a fancy outfit with me, but if I can find something better, I would not say no. So we're on the lookout for some sort of cocktail-y dress or outfit, souvenirs, of course, and whatever else this beautiful city has in store for me. Are those famous last words? We shall see. She had a skin issue and some sort of rash thing going on. I believe I just had my very own and they were roommates situation. The city really is magical. When I asked on Instagram and my community page here on YouTube for recommendations for secondhand shopping in New York, Goldwater was at the top of the list. Y'all said it was affordable, cute, and I just had to check it out and I was not disappointed. Look at this thing. There was a really nice combination of vintage and things that were more off the wall and things that were a little more subdued. So there's really something for everyone here. They also had the infamous or just famous $10 rack. And there were some true gems on this rack, let me tell you. I ended up buying two things and I also found out that this is a little secondhand store too. You can't see that. So let's go check it out. I'll show you what I got when we get back. I am so incredibly thankful that I stumbled across this spot. A couple of you actually recommended it, but I didn't realize it was right there. So I felt like I had just walked into a thrift store in Japan again. And if you know me, you know I like thrifting in Japan. And if you don't know me, here's the proof. This store is filled with designer pieces, so it's definitely extremely spendy. This is like investment piece zone for sure. But I thought if I was gonna find a cool cocktail dress, this would be the place. And this skirt, oh my gosh. I don't wanna talk about it. My heart is still healing from leaving it behind. I was most impressed, I think, with the shoe selection. There were so many shoes that I have seen like on Instagram and on Pinterest that I thought I would never see in real life because they are so expensive that were just out and about. So that was cool. I didn't buy anything, but it was very cool. I also was there right before they closed. So I had to scurry in, scurry out, but next time I'm in New York, I would love to go back. Okay, I did a horrible job of filming in there, but I promise it was cool. Can you tell from my outfit and what I picked out that I'm feeling like I just wanna look like a little cup of steamed milk? Is that so wrong? Really hoping these pants would fit. They're so cool and wide legged. I think it's like a sustainable denim brand. But this gabbage, it's criminal. I spoke too soon. There's a freaking drawstring inside that can pull it tight. These are so cute, but they are so stiff. Here's my contender gala dress. I think this was like a Philip Lim sample sale dress. It's so beautiful. Can't lift my arms in it though. What a weird and beautiful gown. Wow. Thank you. 
Buffalo Exchange looking for a dress. I have an option. I think it's vintage handmade, but I also found these little Everlane pants. They're very cute, but they're just a little short, like awkwardly so. But then I also found this little slightly see-through Italian mesh shirt. The buttons are struggling a bit, but I could also wear it open. I'll show you that. It just has such a fun little like weird sporty vibe, but a more classic silhouette. Okay, so this dress is like beautifully made and handmade. All of these buttons, so cool. I just feel a little bit like a cupcake. Not for me, but very pretty. And here's that shirt just styled open. I really wish it just fit better when it was buttoned up. It's kind of like if I can't wear it multiple ways, not worth it. Darn it. subway I smelled the most delectable scent and I figured out it was the lady who was walking in front of me and I was trailing behind her for like three blocks and finally I was like I gotta ask her why she smelled so good and I asked her and she said it was a combination of Red Temptation by Zara and Into the Night by Bath and Body Works. Who would have known? And before you ask, yes, obviously I brought my emotional support ruler with me to New York. And also, yes, there is a man watching me in the offices right across from me. How do I feel about this? Violated. In a bad way? I'm not sure, but the show must go on. So I know so far this video has been a bit, maybe incomprehensible is a good word for it. Maybe organic is a better word for it. I have a fancy event to go to, which is tonight. It's actually in about an hour. And although we did not succeed in our quest to find a brand new or new to us vintage gown or some sort of thing to wear, that's okay because I brought my secret weapon. Shimmy Shake Cha 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 number. And honestly, I'm excited to wear this. So maybe it's a good thing that I didn't find anything else. So a little bit about this event. It's actually really cool. I don't know how much I'll be able to film while I'm there. Over a year ago, I worked on a campaign. It won a marketing award. So here I am to go to the award ceremony. And if you're still champing at the bit for more vintage hunting and thrifting in New York, don't worry because I have a little bit of time tomorrow to dive in again. And I'm hoping we can find some like actual vintage stores. I've been hitting up a lot of like Buffalo Exchange and crossroads and little small business thrift stores, but I really want some vintage. That's the goal for tomorrow. For now, let's get ready. Starting with my hair. What are we gonna do with this mop? Probably just leave it moppy, because it's kind of my signature look. Let's go. I'm also very late, so let's go. Let's see if I am able to film. We'll find out in three, two, one. Wow. Hey, I got a pretzel and <laughs> some cheese. <laughs> I don't know why this tickles me so much. I mean, I do know why, it's ridiculous. Look. <laughs> I'm not drunk. This <laughs> is just like objectively ridiculous. Mmm. Mmm. I leave you with this Rorschach test. What do you see? Think about that. Good night. <laughs> Sorry, don't go to bed yet. I just tasted this cheese and something visceral in my body said, maybe don't eat that cheese. So I won't. Good night. Morning. Here's the plan for today. I'm heading home. 
But before I go to the airport, we're gonna make a mad dash around the city. We're gonna see it in a New York minute, as one might say, or two might say. First stop, Kinokuniya. Books, baby. Also outfit. I've just been digging this like creamy biscuit vibe. I'm in my dress like a latte era. Pants and cardigan brought to you by Kina and Tam, but we'll talk about that in a future video. Ooh, secrets, spicy secrets. Let's go. about a stationary store in a basement that just really gets me going. Look at this. Automatic paper clipper. Forget the paper clips. Who needs paper clips? Incredible. Apparently there's a downstairs. I'm sensing furniture. I gotta know how much you are. Okay. <laughs> She's back, baby, she's back. Yeah, she's back, baby, she's... Sweet, sexy, pretty, and smart? Wrong, she's back. And I brought my New York attitude with me. <laughs> Do you wanna see what I got thrifting? Well, it wasn't really thrifting. It was secondhand shopping. Anyways, we'll start with what I got from Goldwater. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who recommended going there. So fun, cutest little neighborhood, incredible prices. Apparently they've been open for years and they've always had great prices. And I asked the person working there and they said that their inventory goes fast. Okay, listen, have you ever heard of a statement piece? Even while I was trying this on in the store, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna style this. All I know is that I want it desperately. Immediately I thought, amazing layering opportunities here. It's a light and flouncy layer that's not too heavy, so it's perfect for the summertime. And also, I thought it would be nice to use as like outerwear, quote unquote, in the summertime. My brain's a bit soupy. I just finished work, so I'm like, you know what I mean? This is the second piece that I got from, I keep wanting to call it liquid gold, gold water. <laughs> the cutest, patootiest, vintage, buttery love, love Lello. Butter yellow mini dress. I think I look like such a cute little bean in this dress. Thoughts? Can we confirm that I'm a cute little bean in this dress? All right, here's the last clothing item that I got during my trip. They're basically like the pants I'm wearing 
that was impressive right now, but in very starchy denim. However, you saw in the dressing room when I tried it on, I was like, this can't be right. This fits incredibly strangely. And then I realized that it's cut that way so that it will fit many different body sizes, genders. And I really appreciate that. It's this brand. I don't really know anything about it besides the fact that it's clothing for everybody regardless of gender. And I think that is super cool. Now these are a little bit spendy. They were 40 bucks at, was it Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads? I don't remember, but they retail for like over 200 euros or pounds or they're expensive. And finally, the last thing that I got, a sweet little pouchy friend. I got this from the City Opera thrift shop, as you saw, and I had no intentions of buying a little pouch there. And I was circling the store, kind of like a hawk or an eagle, some sort of majestic flying creature. And my falcon eyes kept landing on this. Every time I passed it, I think it's because of the color palettes. It feels like, dare I say, a little clowny. And this dragonfly is just the cutest. Maybe I could put, I don't know, lip balm in it or cheese its let me know your ideas down in the comments. Very pleased with this. It was $10. And that's it for this week. Thank you so much for coming all the way to New York City with me. I had so much fun. I don't think I mentioned this yet in the video, but the subway was like my special little trip treat while I was there. I just loved being able to see all the people. And I also was so fed up with taking Ubers and taxis that just had you stuck in gridlocked traffic for 20 minutes going half a mile. You can just hop on the subway and be there in two seconds. Do I sound like an alien who's never been on a subway before? I have. Maybe it's because the city I live in has horrible public transit, but I just, I love a metro situation. <laughs> oh no, am I a train kid? Oh, this is a weird realization to have about yourself at 30. Hmm. If you enjoyed your adventures with me this week, then please feel free to subscribe. If you'd like, I usually post thrifty videos or artsy videos, and I would reckon that it's usually a pretty good time. I post most weeks, and if you want to keep up with me during the week between postings, you can follow me over on Instagram. We've been talking about books recently over there. If you're reading any good book series, drop them in the comments. I'm very into like sci-fi fantasy adventure series, like things that will take me like a year to read the whole series. I love escapism. And with that, I'll see you next week. I think we're going to be having an adventure that we have never had on this channel before next week. So make sure you come back. Until then, I hope you have a great week. Be good, you little scallywag. That's a new one. And I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Bye.